Shalom, Shalom, Kah Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kwadash, peace and double honors of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is another installment of Weekly Wisdom. Going into uh what the scholars call the wisdom scriptures, which is uh the Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Wisdom of Solomon, uh also Ecclesiasticus. All right. And we understand there's wisdom throughout the scriptures because our Lord Yahweh Shai, as it is written, he comes in the volume of the book. So throughout uh, this book, this holy Bible, the only book of 100 percent truth from Genesis to Revelation, Apocrypha included, there is wisdom. And Lord's will, this week we're going to go into Psalms, the 20, 20th chapter. All right. It's a short one. So Lord's will, I'll be pulling some other precepts to connect to it. We're just going to get straight to the point. Lord's will, this is edifying. Psalms 20 and 1 to the chief musician, a psalm of David. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the power of Jacob, defend thee. You see, the name. There we go again with the name. So in the time of trouble, the Lord will answer our 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 uh, our prayers. But how would the, how would the Lord know to answer them if we're not calling upon Him? There's many different gods of false gods in this world, and uh, you know idolatry is run is 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 rampant in this world. So it is very important that we call upon the true name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh. And his son's name, which is Yahweh Shai, and we teach our sons and daughters as well to do so. Because that is the connection to the Heavenly Father and his son. All right. What does it say? The name of the power of Jacob. All right. So it's always about the Israelites. So that's what's going to keep us safe in the time of trouble. <clears throat> Psalms 20 and 2. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Yeah, the, the, and the sanctuary is this uh, is this third temple that has been raised up. That's the sanctuary. All right. And that's where the Lord, where his name is amongst the brothers, starting with our apostles and the elders and bishops on down. That's where that's where the help is from, the sanctuary, because that's where we learn this truth from. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Salah. So now um, we put ourselves, we, we present ourselves as the sacrifice now because uh, animal sacrifice for all the intents and purposes at this stage in the game is done away with because our, our Lord, he presented himself as the high priest as the ultimate sacrifice. All right. So that's why it says this Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you. Therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your, your bodies a living sacrifice. Is not our Lord called the Lamb, the unblemished Lamb? All right, and and why is that? Because He presented Himself. He 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 didn't He He gave His life. All right, He put His life down. Nobody took it from Him. All right, because He Himself laid His life down. Okay, and that was the Heavenly Father's will. The Scripture says that it pleased. Uh, let me see if I can, I'll, I'll read this, but I'll see if I can get that preset. Again, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, brethren, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. All right. So this is what we're supposed to do, our reasonable service. Which is to go out on the highways and preach and also bring out these edifying videos and feed the flock of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 53 and 10. Yet it pleased Yahweh to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. See, it pleased the Lord to bruise his son. All right, because, hey, ultimately, we're all subject to the will of the Heavenly Father, even the son Yahweh Shai is. All right, but our Lord, having conquered death, having gone through that. Uh, torturous death, you know, being chastised, being mocked, um, being spat on, you know, being, uh, you know, put the, the crown of thorns on them, you know, uh, raised up, 
on the on the cross. Okay. That's what he went through, but yet he conquered that, and now he's on the right hand of the Heavenly Father, and all power in heaven and earth has been given unto him. All right, so we have the, he is the, the ultimate son of God, the, the son of God, and he's the ultimate Israelite. All right? And we ourselves strive to be of that, um, cut from that same cloth, I'll say. All right? He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. In the excuse me, Salakia, Salakia. I read that again. Isaiah fifty-three and ten. Yet it pleased Yahweh to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. You see. So he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai shall prosper in his hand. Let's grab let's grab that in the um NLT real quick. Alright, but it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet when his life is made an offering for sin, referring to our Lord Yahweh Shai, he will have many descendants. He will enjoy a long life, and Yahweh Bashim Yahshua's good plan will prosper in his hand. Right, that we're going to be fruitful and multiply in the kingdom, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, as even as Solomon, he had he had uh, wives and many sons, you know, and and daughters. Okay, he will enjoy a long life, an inf infinite life, man. All right, our Lord Yahweh Shai, and we are striving and hoping and praying to be. Joint heirs with him. All right, back in um, Psalms 20 and verse 3. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice, Salah. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. Okay, and what, what, is, what, is, uh, what is our heart, our mind geared towards? What is the counsel? What is the, what is the plan that's being executed? Is to receive that crown of life and for righteousness to be established on earth. We re we will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our power will we will set up our banners. Yahweh Hashem Yahusha fulfill all thy petitions in the NLT. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory and raise a victory banner in the name of our power. You see, and the banner that we raise up as the scriptures because our Lord Yahweh Shai, He got the victory and He comes in the volume of the book. People would tell us, have an original thought. Say something. Don't, don't talk to me from the Bible. A lot of pride, prideful uh, people will say that, including our people. Mostly Jake would be talking like that, matter of fact. But that's that's this is where the victory is written. This is this is what we raise, man. In the name of our power. May Yahweh Bashim Yahshua answer all your prayers. You see? So what are we praying for? To be delivered? To be, uh, to be, because there's, there's right things to pray for, you know, you, we got to pray for the right things as well. You know, yeah, well, I, Lord, I pray you get me that, that Lamborghini and, you know, a lot of Jake's be in the world thinking like, like, Hey, ultimately we got to pray for the Lord's will to be done, you know, and to, to cut off our, to, to put away our flesh and make our inward man stronger and look upon the inward man and have mercy. You know, but but a man that's in the right mindset will pray for the right things that the Lord uh, is pleased with. All right. Again, Psalms 26. Now know I that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai saveth his anointed. All right. And the the anointed king of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is King David. He's going to be over the house of David in the kingdom. So it's the heavenly father, Yahweh, right under him, Yahweh Shai, his son. And under under Yahweh Shai is King David. All right, now, so it says, Now know I that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the salvation, with the saving strength of his right hand. Woo! It says he will answer him from his holy heaven and rescue him by his great power, you see? So, hey, King David was delivered many times, man. Many, many times. And, hey, the house of David that's in the spirit of our our King David, 
All right. We are also praying to call upon those names and praying to the Lord to have mercy on us and strengthen us for this day of tribulation so that we also can be delivered and we can stand against the wiles of the devil. We can uh, come against all the wickedness that's going on and not consent unto this wickedness and receive that MOTB. All right. We, we want to pray for the Lord to deliver us from that. Reading on, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, our power. All right, so of course his name is, is of the highest importance. Anybody that's telling you with well, the name doesn't matter, just call him whatever you want to call him. That's not how it works. All right, not according to the scriptures. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Yeah, look, look what's happening to our enemies, man. You know, the, 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 the other heathen nations, Esau, Edom, you know, it says he they, he they will build, but he will throw down. Yeah, but guess who's standing upright? Guess who's in their right minds? Guess who's still um, striving to please the Lord? The hopeful elect men, all right? Those that the Lord is dealing with. Save Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Let the king hear us <coughs> when we call. All right, and this is what we want. We want our power to hear us and to deliver us from these times to come. So with that, just a quick hit. Lord's will, <coughs> Lord's will was edifying. All praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Shalom, Barakatama, to the next one. Shalom.